Hello. Hello. We are finally on the Kennet and Avon Canal. Yes, we are, and don't we know it? Yeah, a bit of a shock to the system, isn't it? Yeah, let's just say that uh, there are lots of overhanging trees. You'll see that in the footage coming up. Yeah, bit, bit of a shock. Don't quite know how we like it at the moment. Or how the rest of it's going to be, but uh, today's plan is to go from the Cunning Man where we are. Yeah, and we're going to do four miles and four locks and a swing bridge. And a swing bridge and to Tile Mill. Yeah, hopefully land at Tile Mill, use the services and spend the weekend there. So uh, come along for the journey. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, watch out for overhanging trees. <laughs> So this is our mooring at the Cunning Man and the pub is right behind us and there we have it, the Cunning Man pub, it's a beautiful thatched cottage. Okay so the Cunning Man pub takes its name from an old wizard, it's a local legend, it's the Cunning Man of Tadley. Now Tadley's across the border in Hampshire so it's not even in Berkshire and back in the late Georgian era people would go and see the cunning man of Tadley to uh, get him to solve things like uh, missing livestock problems, um, lover problems, basically this was the man that everyone went to to get their potions and their uh, spells to try and help them in everyday life and it's not unusual for uh, wizards to be employed by the church. Back in the late 1580s uh, the local church has got records showing that they used a cunning woman, uh, a local witch, who they used and employed to track down missing church items, so things like candlesticks or any valuable items that had gone missing uh, from the pilfering congregation. So we're just leaving our mooring at the Cunning Man and we're heading up to our first lock of the day which is just around the corner, just under the footbridge and uh, our first lock. Got my windows ready. So, all armed and ready to go. So this is us in our first lot, Julie's just about to work the paddles and we're on our way to Tile Mill. Obviously you had high bridge which is very low, you've got these two 90 degree turns uh, which I think was more difficult coming the other way actually but I don't want to speak too soon. Just like I used to do. There was me, there was you. In fact, I think that's over 90 degrees because it kind of goes back on itself as well. And you may be able to hear a little bit of motorway noise, that's the M4. And there is also a stunt plane. Can't quite see it yet, but you can certainly hear it. There always seems to be a stunt plane here near Tile Mill. So perhaps there's some sort of training school. Okay, so we've just been warned by a passing boat that there's a cow in the water up to its neck in the middle of the canal, so let's see whether he's still there when we go through. Hi. Hiya! Lovely, isn't it? 
Isn't it gorgeous? So I don't know if you heard the lady who was cycling past a moment ago. She said that when we go under the bridge to go careful because on the right hand side there is a cow in the water. Now hopefully he's just in the water having a drink and he's not stuck. If he's stuck we're going to have to phone. Uh, I don't know. The RSPCA 999, the fire engines. We will see. I wouldn't drink that water, Mr. Cow, or Mrs. Cow, I should say. You don't know what's in it. I'm hoping the lady meant the cows back there and they got out the water. Let's hope there's not one around the corner. So I'm hoping that whatever cow was in the water was obviously just in there having a little bath and it's not in the water now. Thank goodness. So this is the uh, M4 that we're going under, you probably can't see me. This is what the CRT class is, a wide beam canal. Just look at the overgrowth. I'll show you from behind. Garston's Lock is one of only two remaining turf-sided locks that exist on the canal system. Uh, they're scheduled ancient monuments and they were built between 1718 and 1723. Let's go and see what this lock's like. And it's one of the old locks. Really old locks. Look at this. Um, what makes them so unusual is that they don't have brick or uh, solid sides, they have turf sides, which means they do use twice as much water as a brick sided lock but um, they are a uh, throwback from the days pre-canal. So these locks predate the canals by almost 90 years. a pleasant experience we just met a lovely group of kids who were um, sailing I think or canoeing and we were at um, the lock back there which was one of those sort of grass locks one of the oldest locks on the um, Kennet and Avon Canal actually and uh, they helped us with the gates um, both in and out so uh, yeah lovely lovely um, bunch of kids um, quite refreshing really
bridge we'd just done uh, had a massive bit of concrete sticking out of the side and uh, it wasn't until I went past it the lady said you missed it by inches uh, luckily for me Julie was on the front so she was pushing the boat out so we did definitely avoid it but I think if I'd have come into contact with that bit of concrete I probably would have smashed a window so we've just been told to go careful as we go through this next little bit because there's a wide beam and its back end is sticking out quite a bit so I don't know if it's come loose or if it's moored like that. Hopefully it's not moored like that. It's been 37 degrees all day and not a breeze in sight. All of a sudden it's got really windy. And there's thunder about. There's a storm coming. Did you see that flash? I hope you did. A couple of rumbles of thunder going on at the same time in different directions.
so what a fantastic morning it's been it has been fantastic it was quite incredible really when we moored up we got help straight away we did and then we got invited to a barbecue we did yeah um, within about two days of being there yeah so we've got to say hello to a couple of people annie and ken yeah hello hi. to you um, and, and also Steve and Tina. Steve and Tina, hello to you. So thank you for inviting us to your socially distanced barbecue. Yeah, well, in fact we've had three now. Yeah, um, we so, have. But yeah, so it's lovely to get invited. Uh, we've got a couple of people to thank as well, this week's patrons. Yep. Uh, we've got uh, James and Dominique Haverstrong. Uh, we've got Ricardo Nunes and his partner Carla. And uh, although we said thank you to Ron Hayward last week on screen, we didn't say thank you in person. So thank you, Ron thank Hayward. Thank you very much. Uh, each and every one of you, your support is greatly appreciated. Yeah. Yes, and it does help a lot. Massively. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps us massively. Uh, and once you do subscribe, don't forget to click the little bell icon and that lets you know whether, when we post future videos. And don't forget to comment. We love to hear your comments and we will answer every single one. Indeed. And we will see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.